What's up, Skrillgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to play a ranked match. I'm recording this on Sunday, shortly before the uh, weekly winners are determined for the next week. So, I, uh, I'm i only a couple points behind Vet Skrull for a second, and so I'm going to try to do that in this video. See, look, weekly ladder winners are determined in three hours. That was at one o'clock, so I have a bit of time to make up those two points. Um, I have... I've gotten the first place badge, obviously, you could see it right there. I've gotten the third place badge, and I've gotten the uh, most wins in the week badge. And the only one badge I haven't gotten at least once is second place badge, so that's why I want to get into that second place this week. So I'm going to go into a ranked match, and I'm going to use... Range of Energy has been doing good in the ladder lately. Uh, so yeah, let's just use Range Energy. See how it goes. This is the range energy build I am using. Check the description below to uh, see it yourself. Make sure, like, paste it into your own thing. I'm considering like taking out elders and maybe having cannon auto instead. I don't know. Very interesting. A lot of people don't run potion resistance, but it saved me so many times. Like, I had to go with a double potion of resistance my last match. Uh, to protect against like a harvester like to destroy the last idol um because i had to do two because i knew he might have a damage curse to get rid of one potion resistance and it is guido fubini so good luck have fun to him he's a badger guild mate bombard is like most, the most important card in mono energy range but it's in my starting hand and i can't use it yet anyways so I'll sacrifice and i have a perfect curve one two three four Okay, so let's see. Guido with his big bear arms. That's from like one of the avatar things you buy, I think. But he has a normal head. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, Tuesday. I'll be getting two heads. Uh, I'll be getting one for uh, being in the top ten of the ladder for the first, uh, or the second rank season, and I'll get another one for my for doing well in the ESL. Sacrifice the spark. Speeding this part up because uh, my mom came in and talked to me. But uh, so yeah, what happens right now? I just continue my awesome curve, and he doesn't really have much to combat it. He does have storm runner, but look at that perfect draw into the burn. I already had the burn, but sacrifice only didn't need it. And look at the border now; it looks awesome for me. And I just hope that the rest of the match could go the same way. But he does burn my my smuggler, but. It's not a huge deal, it still has nothing on the board, and now it's uh, round 5, and I have 4 units. So I'm looking pretty good. And back to the commentary. Alright. Um, I'm going to keep the machinated, and I have a hired smuggler, so I'll play that. Some lag, okay, another bombard, that's nice. Especially with the hired smuggler, it's 3 counts on back, and go with the bombard next turn. Okay, so I'm gonna move up. He might have like a bombard play, which would be unfortunate. I'm not gonna move up because he could you could thunder surge me. I'm not gonna move this guy up. He might still thunder surge this turn. I'm actually pretty clumped for a thunder. I probably shouldn't have put this tired marksman in the middle. There's really no point. Yeah, why did I do that? I should have had him down here. He doesn't need to be in the action to use his ability. He's a sharpshooter. It's interesting though, because like, he is like a pistol. And he's able to shoot anywhere on the board. I consider him more like having a sniper rifle. Maybe his goggles give him the extra vision, I don't know. Alright, so looks like he's gonna thunder surge and... Or no. Okay, so forge and that's about another pump out. So let's see. Potion of Resistance is pretty good versus Energy, because Energy has nothing to deal with Potion of Resistance. I can Machinate to destroy that, and then Bombard to deal 3 damage to that. Um, let's start by sacrificing one of the potions. I 
want to get rid of this with my machinated. I do want to do that. And then I, maybe I can bombard next turn. How can I protect that thing? Uh, I can machinate posting resistance this. Then he could just thunder surge. You know, let's do it. Let's go machinated. Or I could just play hired marksman. I'm just gonna play hired marksman. I think that's the safest play. Because I'm not giving anything up. I'm gonna move this guy up here. I'm gonna move him up. I'm almost giving up my Dust Runner here. Uh, the Elder can destroy it. That was a tough turn to try to deal with. Maybe you didn't make the right play there. But. We'll see. Next turn I can go with the Elder. Or I could Bombard Machinated Bombard Potion. Or Bombard and a Range Creature preferably. And I would have these guys attacking. Unless he burns one of them this turn. I should be getting a, a gun on what's on. Start, I have to worry about Thunder Surge because he's energy. Guido's a good player too. Okay, oh, he's a, is using the Hard Marksman version as well. Okay. So. I almost want to bombard because what I can do if I bombard with a gun on a baton, I can deal two damage to the forge, finish it off with this, and then use this guy to shoot this, and then all that attacks is this thing. I think I'm going to do that because I don't want him to give him a chance to fill up more of his board. He does get this guy to attack though, which is unfortunate for me. I'll get rid of the elder. Um, so let's go like this. And I'm gonna put him, put him back here. So bombard. So now I will use this. Oh no, I have to, shoot. That was bad. Now I have to put this guy in front. Yeah, I'm gonna hope that the gun on the on spawns in front of it, and then I'll shoot this. I didn't. I forgot you can't shoot structures. It's a little strange, you'd think you, you could shoot them. Okay, so hopefully this gives the one... I should have moved that up so it has a higher chance of spawning there. I'm making misplays. Maybe, I guess this works out uh, in that I'm more protected from Thunder Surge, but I don't love that turn. I wasted a Bombard, and I'm giving up this creature. Okay, and there goes both Hired Marksmen. So, at least I got them to each attack once. And maybe he'll sacrifice the resources and play a 3-drop. He's ahead of me in scrolls and resources now, which I'm really worried about. Two ahead in resources. But I seem to have the board advantage, not by much. Um, I don't think I had any Storm Runners yet, which is nice for me. Cannonetta and a Machinated is good. Elder. Uh, I guess I'll get the Elder out, even though Cannonetta is pretty nice to have. I'm going to move up to... I mean, he can make a big. He make he can make a big bombard play. I'm gonna try to pressure him a little bit. Okay, because I we did I did more idle damage to him. So if, if we just keep being in like a stalemate right like right now, I'll eventually win. Sometimes these mono energy range matches can be like a stalemate where nobody clears each other's board, but then. I had a slightly stronger start, so I uh, I would win the stalemate. Two machinated, but he has more scrolls and more resources than me. I'm not sure how that happened. I Maybe mean, he did more burns than me. And I do have better board advantage, but a bombard can turn that on turn that around really quickly. But if he bombards, like, likely 
like uh, my Oculus cannon would survive, it would get to attack his stuff and stuff like that. So I only have one more Bombard left in the deck because I sacked one out of my starting hand and then another one I sacrificed, another one I used. Okay, so this gun on Maton is up here now. I might machinate it just to get rid of Elder, but maybe he puts like a forge in front. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, that's in front. And he does bombard. Interesting, okay, so he just wasted a bombard. He does get he does get a scroll back from the hired smuggler. I'm pretty happy bombarded there, because that doesn't really hurt me much. And I have, wow, I have two machinateds, a storm runner, and a cannoneta. I will sacrifice Canada. I think I like both machinated in my hand, and I'll go for scrolls. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to go in a big thunder surge, like thing. If I keep pumping this, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna play. A st Actually, yeah, I'm gonna play. A st no, I'm just gonna burn. I'm just gonna keep his stuff off the board. And I'll get rid of the thing with three health, even though that thing is a little, a little more annoying. And there's a dust runner, and I will. Dust runner, I will place right here. Might come in handy. Okay. So middle idol was taken by me, and now there's just two idols down here. And I have two machinated in hand, so if he doesn't protect those, I'll likely win soon. Because I have two machinated. And if I can top deck up on Bard, that would be pretty good. Especially if he doesn't have protection in front of this elder. Like if the board is still like this, I would just storm under bombard and then it would deal two damage to both these guys. This dies. This elder gets down to 3 health, and then this finishes it off, he's going to move it back. But, that is wishful thinking. He's probably going to put a forge or something in front. Maybe another elder, so it looks like a forge down there. So he does see that he could lose pretty easily near the bottom of the board. So he protects there, but if he doesn't protect up here... Oh, he doesn't protect up there, but if I, I, don't, if I, if I top like a bombard, that'd be awesome. I don't. Iron Whip isn't too bad, though. Iron Whip is not too bad. I'm going to... Let's see, I can Iron Whip this and then Machinate to destroy it. I don't know if that's a good... Good idea. I'm going to sacrifice one Storm Runner for Scrolls. I'm just getting creatures. Uh, okay, now it worries me a little bit because this thing can be a problem. And I do want to get rid of this, so I think I'm going to... But I have to get that Canada out, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and play Cannonetta. Stormer is better than Cannonetta, but Cannonetta. Actually, let's play Stormer. Play Storm Runner. All right, we're gonna group up. If he has Thunder Surge, oh well. Okay, just like this. Okay, we are really grouped up. If he has a Storm Runner, Bombard, and Machinated right now, he probably wins, wins the game. Oh boy. Alright, he doesn't have a Storm Runner, Bombard, and Machinated. Maybe he does, he just didn't want, didn't want to play it. He could still have a Bombard and Machinated, and that would hurt me a lot as well. Thunder Surge would hurt the most. But I'm not even sure Guido runs Thunder Surge. A lot of people don't run Thunder Surge. Because often it makes it only takes like mistakes. It can you can only punch people who make mistakes and high rate of players don't make any mistakes. But look right now, I don't think I made really a mistake, but it's just that in doing in in like locking down middle idle and like middle row, I have forced myself to be clumped up. So yeah, I didn't really have that much of a choice to be unclumped. So maybe he's considering if he should go for a Thunder Surge or a big Bombard play. I don't know. 
Stormrunner, if this thing gets machinated, it wouldn't be able to destroy the Elder. It would be able to destroy this guy on Automaton. Or he can move up and destroy both of these guys. Maybe he has an Iron Whip, so that my guys don't attack next turn. Most of them are attacking on this. He's moving up. Alright. That makes me a little bit uh, happier. I'm a little bit safer. So he takes top idol and he plays a big threat, but that was a really good turn for me because now I have all this stuff attacking and I can iron whip this. That I think was a big turn for me to and can I win? Uh, yeah, I got real lucky there. So if I machinate this, destroy that, iron whip that, do that, and then I don't think I have enough to win. Okay. So. Machinate. And then. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to attack with that Stormrunner yet. I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to go with the Machinate on this before I do anything. Because I have to destroy that. And then I'm going to. I think I'll machinate this too so I can get rid of that. And I'll sacrifice more resources. Even though I am. I'm still really clumped up though. Uh, yeah, I'm still really clumped up so he could still draw a Bombard. I mean, he could still draw, a, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. A Thunder Surge. Okay, so he's going for a Stormrunner Bombard Machinated in the front there. Okay, so he gets out down both of these guys. He gets down the dust the dust runners and that. So, but now I have this Stormrunner attacking, and that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. I can can I clear the board right now? No, I don't think I could destroy this. I mean, I could hurt it, so I can destroy it next, but I have to get rid of that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of an Iron Whip. Elder. Yeah, let's just play an Elder this turn. So I'll go like that. Go like that. And then I'll play an Elder. So now I'm playing around Thunder Surge because now my board's a little cleared. So yeah, that Bombard Ram last turn did deal a lot of damage, but it made my Stormrunner attack and my other stuff attack, so... I'm well off now. Don't I want to draw that third bombard in the deck? That would be really nice. And he gets a forge down, protect that idol. I'm a little uh, unsure why people like putting a forge in the middle row. I understand, like, yes, if the gun on on spawns in front, then it protects the forge. But I like the five health in front. And being and not be able to move his structure right in the middle row is, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, let's get rid of the Tempest Reaver for scrolls, and let's just bounce source this. Get rid of that. And honestly, if he wasted turn Thunder Surging us, that means we probably have a chance to win the game. So I'm just gonna clump up. Actually, but then he gets Storm Under Bombard Machinated, but that would mean like a perfect draw. Let's just go like this. Let's go like that. Okay, and I have another bounce dispersal that's coming turn. Actually, I shouldn't have moved this uh, elder up. That was kind of stupid. I should have kept it back here so I could have three things to attack on this row if need be. That was a mistake, what I just did. There's really no point in moving the elder forward. If I can draw another elder, that'd be cool. I think I sacked one earlier, though. I'm not, I'm not positive. He's at nine resources. I'm at six. 
I have a few more cards in him, and I have control of the board, though, and idle damage. So not too worried. And he's just pumping up. So, all right, cool. And if I have, like, a machinated, I win, but I don't think there's any more machinated in the deck. A bombard. Bombard with what? Does anything win the game? No, I can't win the game, I don't think. Bombard Stormer, what does that do? Doesn't do much. Let's let's go ahead and burn this thing. We'll wait for a big play coming up and get rid of let's get rid of the Go to one of the bounce dispersals. Move down like this. Maybe I missed lethal. I don't think I did. And play a cannonada right here. So we're a little clumped up, but that's okay. Now we have a bombard for next turn with a storm runner. And if I can top deck like a spark or a two drop or a one drop or machinated, then. There's even more chance I could win this turn. I'll disperse all in one of the elders, and I can end up protecting that idol. And cannot win. Yeah, I can't win. Let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna bombard this turn though, because I want to get rid of at least the stuff that's attacking this turn. So let's go ahead and sacrifice the Thunder Surge for scrolls and hope I get like a dust runner. No dust runner, but actually Oculus Cannon is really good to get too. So I'll use the Oculus Cannon. Um, actually, can I win now? If I Oculus Cannon in front here, bombard, that deals two damage to the idol, and that's five. Yeah, that's GG. I could clear the, I could almost I could clear the board as well, but why clear the board when you can win? Alright, so I should be uh number two in the ladder now. And hopefully, uh, whatever his name is, um, that scroll doesn't overtake me again. So, yeah, plus nine. And I should be number two. What? It should update. Come on, update. Alright, I'm refreshing scrolls, guys. Let's see. Yeah, that scroll's down. That scroll's at 1916, so. I think I did pass him. Yep, there it goes. There it updated. I wonder what Zadrin plays. Is he playing ranked? Or do you know? I think they're playing Judgment. Yeah, it looks like Judgment. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. Get pumper waypoints, guys. Um, that'll be it for me. So submit your top plays to me at northninja.gmail.com. And keep on scrolling, scrollgers. I'll see you next time.